up short. What's up, baby? What's going on? You ready to get now? <laughs> Are you? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get a color on my nails today that reminds me of you, and it's called Pop Daddy. <laughs> Is the name of the color? <laughs> yeah. Pop Daddy. Pop Daddy. You have hits on hits on hits on hits on hits. Been doing it a long, long time. A long, long time. But you just released an EP. I can't stop rapping. I just cannot stop. I tried from time to time, and I just, I keep making music, and I keep liking it. I, I like the job. Yeah. I like, you know, it's, it's, it's a real good, uh, it's still fun. I feel like being a rapper is the best job of all time, actually. They say the best job is the guy next to the rapper. Why is that? Because yeah. he's just chilling? He just has to go, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Somebody go, hey. Oh, no, you mean a hype man. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Yeah, you just get a good, you know. You didn't really need that, I felt like. I used to have a guy on stage with me back in the day named Too Clean. We, he did a lot of shows with me. Too Clean and Too Short? Yeah, and then sometimes I, uh, so every now and then I bring out some of my young homies, some, the groups I might be working with. Like right now I'm working with an Extendo gang. Uh-huh. Right out of L.A. and they're, um, they come out of some of my shows and hype the crowd. And, and 2015. Mm-hmm. It's a big year for the two of us. Mm-hmm. It's your 30th anniversary for your first record. Mm -hmm. And your 30th birthday. And it's my 30th birthday. So. I think it's only natural that we do a joint party. And uh, I'm all with that because, you know, we can uh, split the cost. We can, <laughs> <laughs> no. well, we can split the cost. Or we Seriously, can I'm trying to do the math now. When I was making my first album out doing shows and stuff, you were like... A, a child. Infant. But I, I was still listening to you, though. And you weren't far away either. You were right in Frisco. I wasn't far away. <laughs> and what's funny is I thought that you were born and raised in Oakland, but you're, you were born in South Central, right? I moved to Oakland when I turned 14, like oh. summer of 1980. Oakland must have been so off the hook in 1980. <laughs> it was enough to inspire the career of Too Short. Now, but you live in L.A. again. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 thank you. <laughs> saved you. It was a fly. fly was around. there a fly? Oh, my God. Too Short, I you're I my saved your life. You are I my saved your life. You are my everything right now. <laughs> I owe you one from the night I ran you off the road. Yep, that's the true story. <laughs> you did almost run me off the road. I can't believe you said I ran you off the road. <laughs> you didn't run me off the road. You just almost sideswiped the car. But it was you. And you handled it with finesse, and you didn't do it. Have you only lived in California, or have you lived other places? I lived in Atlanta, Georgia, 15 years. And I've always had, like, a house in Vegas or a condo in Vegas. And that does not surprise me. <laughs> do you go to the strip club here? I love strip clubs. I'm not really a California strip club kind of guy. Vegas, I'm not crazy about either. I mean, I spent 15 years in Atlanta. It's a oh, different yeah, culture. Yeah. You know, Miami, Atlanta, you know, the down south clubs, it's, it's a whole different booty shake. I did hear that <laughs> in Atlanta, rapper, out. <laughs> rappers like to leak their songs or play their songs in the club sometimes before yeah. they release them on the radio. Is yeah, that it's, true? It's, it's a, a patented formula that if you, you know, the, if the strip club DJs break it and it's hot at just one club, it's probably going to be hot everywhere. Okay. One of my favorite songs that you were on is The World is Filled with <laughs> Pimps and Hoes. That's one of my favorite songs of all time. And they barely play it on the radio because it just sounds like the world is filled with Pimps and Hoes. Beep, beep. Bleep, bleep, you, know, you have to bleep out the whole song, so it's never you, you, gotta, you gotta love an underground hit, and that even True. though that's on an album and sold millions of copies, it's still an underground hit. It is. I am pretty sure that if Tupac was still alive, he would be my soulmate. <laughs> we have a lot of things in common. We both lived in Marin for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. We both like white girls. I also <laughs> happen to be a white girl. I like interpretive dance. He did as well. So I keep that makes you closer. I'm closer. just I'm the I'm the closest <laughs> to his spirit of all time. What is your favorite memory of Tupac? Just because uh, I want uh, I just know that you're the only person I know closest to him. Uh, my my favorite memory of Tupac is uh, just the cold truth is he's a, always a personality that that takes over a room like you notice it and he's he's one of the main people in the room at all times. But the thing is, every time you see him, he's a different personality. Like sometimes he's like the hyper excited, energetic party kind of guy. Other times he's probably like wearing some glasses and and he's being intellectual and introspective about uh, you know, life and politics and then another time he's He's coming in, he's like straight thugged out. <laughs> so basically you're telling me that he had borderline personality disorder or was schizophrenic? Probably just 
you know, Gemini stuff. Yeah, yeah he was a Gemini. Like, that's, that's all. What is a song off your new EP mm -hmm. that you love to perform? There's a song on there that I've already been I put in the show just to test it out. And it's called uh, Booty Tricks. It's self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I usually play a little game called Who Would You Rather Get Nailed By? But in this case, I'm going to change <laughs> the, the name to Who Would You Rather yeah. Nail? Because I feel like you don't really get nailed by anybody. Definitely the aggressor. So who would you rather nail? Aretha Franklin or Patti LaBelle? We're, we're talking prime. We're not talking today. Talk yeah, we can talk about prime. We can talk about yeah, in the past. Uh, I would go with young Aretha, the preacher's daughter. Okay, who would you rather nail? Dolly Parton or Reba McIntyre? Uh, that's a tough one. Because I like them southern girls. Um, <laughs> I'll go with Reba. It seems like Dolly would be talking too much. She would just... She would talk Just a lot. All right, who would you rather know? Madonna <laughs> or Cindy Lauper? It's, it's young Madonna all day. Yeah. So I can't believe that you agreed to come and do this. This was amazing. A lot of fortunate things uh, from the Bay. From the Bay. It was uh, in, in the neighborhood. I live right down the street. Okay. Uh, I understand you're extremely popular. <laughs> and then fourth, I got a free manicure. Oh yeah, true. But I'm not paying it. Yeah, no, I got you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, this has been lovely, and I can't wait for our birthday slash 30th anniversary joint party together. Summertime. Summertime. We can do it one in the Bay and one in LA. <laughs> Pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on tour. Next one in Vegas. Yeah, go on tour.